All right. Now we're doing free code camp, front end development libraries, bootstrap, create a custom heading. All right. So we will make a sim pardon me, a simple heading for our cat photo app by putting the title and relaxing cat image in the same row. All right. So these are going to be in the same row. Uh, we're going to remember that Bootstrap uses a responsive grid, pardon me, responsive grid system, which makes it easy to put elements into rows and specify each element's relative width. Most of Bootstrap's classes can be applied to a div element. All right. So now we're going to nest our first div pardon me, our first image and our H2 element within a single div with a class equaling row, right? Uh, then we're going to nest our H2 element within a div with the class of call XS8 and the image in a div with the class call XS4 so that they are on the same line. And then we'll notice how the image is now just the right size to fit along the text. Okay. Uh, so let's start off with the div with the class equaling row. All right, I think we did that before, uh, but it's not that easy to find. All right, so let's do that right here. We'll do uh, opening div, close div, and we'll give it a class equaling row. So we'll say uh, class equals row, all right? So now let's drop this down and we're gonna take both of these and put it in there. So let's get this like this and put it there and then bring this one back and then tab this over one like that. All right. Uh, so that's cool right there. So now we're going to put both of these in their own divs with these uh, classes. All right. So we'll start off and say opening div, close div. All right. And we already have this one right here. So we'll just take this class right here, copy it, drop it off here, and then we'll uh, make this, mm, let's copy this like this, copy that, drop it down and turn this one into eight. All right. Now let's, uh, drop this one down and let's drop this one down and let's put this H2 inside of this top one. Let me get it like this. Put this H2 inside of this top one, tab it over one. Oops. Tab it over one like that. And then let's get this uh, image and all this stuff right here. Put it here inside of this one and then tab it over one. And then let's, whoops, let's tab it over one. And then let's get rid of the white space like that. That's still not good. These, these need to be on the same row. Div, oh, puts the spaces in between these classes and the divs. All right. so. So now it looks like that, all right? So let's uh, run the test, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to add font awesome icons to our buttons, and we'll see you next time.